Paul had a first point on the road this season. Didn't look likely up to, to half time, but what did you make of your team's performance overall today? Good. Things that please, I thought, listen, I thought Brighton started really well and as disappointed as we are with the goal, uh, I think sometimes you have to uh, give credit. I thought they moved us about and really tried to exploit the spaces that they created. But the pleasing thing was we got to grips with it as the half wore on in terms of not panicking, letting them have the ball in front of us more rather than moving us and allowing the passing behind. Yeah, and, and it allowed us to really stay in the game, which ultimately has ended up um, giving us the chance to get the point and possibly go on and win. You know, And, and then in the, in the first half, we weren't particularly good with the ball when we regained that first pass for the counter. Listen, I'm talking we missed by a couple of yards twice, but they're the moments where with what we'd been playing for. Um, and then the other side of it was when we were composed, got on the ball, we made too many safe passes and ended up back at Wes. Wes would go along, we give them the ball back. Second half with the ball, we corrected that more. Still the same bravery to get on the ball, but then someone had to be even braver to play that that ball in between um, Brighton's midfield into one of the front three or the wing backs. And we did that a lot better. And we also were able to uh, make a couple of simple changes to allow us to press Bright Brighton better in the second half, which made it, well, we won the ball back in half much more in the second half. And yeah, I had a real go on. Certainly seemed first half like a few of the players were struggling with, with the shape or what they were being asked to do, whether you guys seem to be getting loads of instructions on. Yeah, it was that frustrating from your perspective? Yeah, massive, but we, we half expected that with uh, with how they play. They've got they've got two or three real good things, what they do, where you make the change, they change again. You make the change, they change again. Um, committing so many bodies behind your midfield and then how they pull you out. That's why everyone's talking about them. They're good at it. Um, it was less a case. It was more a case of the mentality of it. Don't panic. We can still control where they play that pass. Recognizing when they played the pass we want, and then jump and press. And we did that much better in the second half. So they see like the second weekend in a row where a, a different team from an attacking perspective emerged after the break. You were giving them less time, and that's even before the red card. Yeah. Well, we've said the reasons. Yeah, we know how tough it's going to be, and we're asking for top performances every week. But that's got to be our aim. Um, when we when we're not putting in top performances, we know it's a tough game because we're playing against good good players. Um, but when we do, we know we can compete. We just come to a really tough place against a really good side who everyone's talking about. And like you said before, the red card. Yeah, I thought we really imposed ourselves on the game. Do you think it was a fair call? The red card. Have you managed to see it? Yeah, I've seen it. I, I, listen, the reactions of everyone at the time told me it was a fair, uh, a fair call. Uh, but I have seen it. Yeah, no doubt. That that. Clearly helped in the last kind of 20 minutes or so, but equally the introduction of Ben Osborne seemed to add a little bit more energy in, in the middle of the park as well. He, he made a, a good contribution today. Yeah, we um, one of the things that helped us get to grips towards the end of the second half was making Vinny jump quicker and earlier around Billy Gilmore, who was getting on the ball a lot, which then I mean we could fix one of their outside centre-backs who would generally be the spare man and then press that. We would continue to do that in the second half, but that bang that Vinny took uh, in the first half, you could see it was injuring him and he wasn't getting around the pitch well enough for us. So we needed someone with high energy to perform that role and Ozzy did it great. And then obviously the, when the, the goal comes, you had a couple of other opportunities as well. I mean, Jaden Bogle's just been talking about how frustrated he is, had a, had a chance to win it. Yeah, just seeing it, he was, um, yeah, yeah. He, listen, I think Jaden's game probably epitomises what we talk about when we say about the belief I have in our players and how we want to see them play. Uh, they had a difficult first half trying to deal with their winger the second half their wing and it's Matoma one of the best and he's having a difficult afternoon trying to deal with Jaden. you know he was on the he was on the front foot much more set up the first goal great bit of play uh, and followed his run followed his pass for the for that opportunity and yeah it would have been a yeah fantastic moment if that had gone in it, it, one of the keys over the international break to try and get a, a full 90 performance where you can put it all together after the international well, they are. listen I, I disagree with that. they are full 90 performances if, if anyone thinks we're going to come to Brighton and control a game for 90 minutes then I wouldn't turn up that's not going to happen not yet anyway that's obviously our aim but it's not going to happen we're uh, we're in the toughest league you know and we accept that but like I said I think the big difference today was the composure we showed when we were under the cosh and we stayed in the game gradually got more relaxed even when they had the ball and it allows us to get to our time we can make the changes and, and be much more positive and, and come out with a positive outcome so yeah it's a big uh, yeah big lesson that I think How significant 
is the away point and just getting off the bottom of the table for the next few weeks. Well, you, yeah, you're not the first to say it to me in the space of however long off the game, so I presume it is significant. And not, not, I'm not thinking about that now. In terms of players, there are a couple that came off were Knox, McAtee and, and Suzu. Are they... Marcus Cramp, Vinny was that knee in the back in the first half, which he was struggling with. Uh, jaden has been carrying a little groin injury, which these two weeks will be good for him. Uh, yeah, so hopefully we'll, we'll, uh, we'll have a good couple of weeks and everyone who goes away will come back healthy, which will be nice, and then we can start again yeah, in a couple of weeks' time. How close were Oli Mack and Anel to being involved today? Anel probably closer than Oli. But not uh, wasn't worth the risk. It just wasn't worth the risk with muscle injuries. Uh, not worth the risk for the sake of two weeks now that they've got where we know they can be back training fully with us. Yeah, um, we'll uh, we've played it safe and, and we've been sensible with that. Are you still hopeful that they might be able to come back in two weeks' time? Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a plan. Like yeah. Really stuff. Cheers.